Hello and welcome. These are horse racing selections for Wednesday the 9th of November and golf selections starting Thursday the 10th of November. I am Flat Cap Callum and I'm hoping you are all very, very well. As you can see, back in the usual studio, uh, evening studio, also known as uh, my kitchen. Um, so, yeah, uh, back where where uh, where I have been, uh, not for a while. So, uh, yeah, been out and about, on the road, not on the road this week. Um, next week, mm, no, I think I'm around next week too. So, uh, yeah, so uh, we'll be back in, we are in the kitchen all week. We'll be in the kitchen uh, all, the, all weekdays next week as well, uh, as far as I can think. All right, um, what have we got coming up today? Well, I'm doing steak and a quarter, so I'm having a little incy bit of a go, really, because it, it it could well have been just a normal steak day, and I've I've just lightly tuned it up to a steak and a quarter. So it's steak and a quarter, four bets. First race two o'clock at Bangor, um, and it is three lucky fifteens and a combination bet. So across all those bets, I'm actually only on eight races. And in four of the races, I'm focusing on, I've got two horses in each race. Um, so there's four other races where there's one selection. So putting our eggs mainly in a four race basket. Um, and I would flag as well, as I often will. They're not the most, they're not the most mathematically sound races. So they're not bad races, mathematically speaking. But I could have chosen ones where ratio for, for runners to places are better. And there's some of those I've kind of, yeah, I've left out actually. Um, so those will come up. Uh, before I do that, I'll do uh, the review of yesterday. Uh, sorry, yesterday? Yesterday, it's not yesterday, is it? I haven't done a bet since Sunday, so I'll do the review of that. Before I do that, there's a couple of other things I want to go through. So if all you're here for is just the tips and you want low-key stuff, just you can fast forward and, and do that. For those of you a little bit invested in the channel and invested in the world of YouTube horse racing tips the land, then uh, then... Yeah, spare me a few minutes as a, as a couple of topics I want to go through before I go through the results. Um, so firstly, um, just want to acknowledge that uh, something's gone a little bit uh, a little bit different on, uh, on on one of the other YouTube channels that I know a lot of you will be following um, because it's a good one. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know what's gone on, but uh, what I can give you some context on um, for those of you that, that do follow the Connor Five Hundred channel um, is. There, there was a bit of a funny thing going on on Saturday night. So um, there's been talk of, of kind of trolling and, and this kind of stuff. Basically, somebody set up a fake account um, and it was a takeoff of his account. It wasn't his account. It was a takeoff of that um, and then posted on multiple uh, tips to sites as far as I could make out, uh, including my own, um, some abusive comments. I kind of took it as uh, not somebody necessarily who has lost at gambling but somebody who who was had a slightly warped sense of humor but also um just kind of wanted a bit of attention um and yeah i'm not going to go into it massively uh so so i don't think there's a massive issue uh on on of of trolling in the world i think somebody just uh either either took their attention seeking a little bit far and was just a bit rude my what, what you know, you'll, you'll occasionally hear a reference on here, but predominantly it doesn't happen very much. And if it does, I don't really mention it and I just delete the comments because in a lot of cases, people like that just want a bit of attention. So I know um, on Connor's channel, he's talked about it and I just want to be clear, I've never met him, don't know him, um, but it, to all intents and purposes, it feels to me like he's, he's set up his channel for, for very positive reasons. Um, and you just don't know what's going on in people's lives, so I, I, I would imagine there's more to like more to things than you that you might imagine. I don't know um, how he is. I hope he's doing all right. Um, but uh, as far as the comments would suggest on his channel, he's sort of taken a bit of a sabbatical, unexpectedly so. Um, and yeah, I hope he's all right because I'll, I'll you know I'll happily talk about it. when I looked at um, setting up my own channel. I looked around what was there. I worked out what I thought was a bit of a gap and a bit of a niche that no one else was doing, which was multiple bets um, and and doing it in the way that I did it. But when I looked back sort of end of last year, his channel was hands down the best channel that was out there um, because for me, from a principal point of view, it was free and he had very, very clear statistics, statistics um, 
because he makes profit because it's although on face value some of you who watch both channels would think it's it's similar it's similar in in, in some guises but in others it's not because he uses mathematical um kind of calculation in terms of ev and stuff like that which i understand um i'm not i'm not an expert in but i understand and i understand where where a value race is but what i'm trying to do is 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 work work horse racing research into into a model like that so i don't always pick the most mathematically sound races i talk about i will try and, and and put a bit of research so his way of going about it is a little bit different with mine um but yeah i just hope he's all right because uh, I, w- I wish him well he's he's clearly set up a good channel lots of of, of kind of uh, f- followers there who are very loyal to the channel and i know a lot of you watch both channels and i just want to acknowledge that yeah i, I don't know him but i, I wish i hope he's all right um the other thing I was going to talk about, um, so sometimes, um, you know, most people won't realise, but sometimes people couldn't have conversations with me on old videos. So if you comment on an old video, often it will send me an email notification and I'll, I'll find it. Um, and so it's a way of people kind of communicating to me without sort of an official private channel, but with a private channel. Um, and I was having a conversation with a regular um, viewer the other night uh, just about the difficult situation they found themselves in um, from from punting where it had gone really well and then it suddenly gone really bad and they'd acknowledged that it that it hadn't got to uh, hadn't got to be in a very good place at all financially um, and I just want to kind of call that out because it's not something I talk about a lot on here because I'm trying to you know trying to do fun on here and I'm trying to make it small stakes but it's very easy to get carried away and, and you will hear me talk about not getting carried away um, but likewise we we've, we've been on a bad run recently so if you you know if you'd gone on a gone on a nice journey with us sort of uh i don't know first week of october and then you got kind of confident with it it's very easy to to go and lose it all and what i would say is absolute respect to that individual because what they've acknowledged is before it's got really bad that that actually it's it's there's a problem there and they need to kind of stop and and i would just say that it was just yeah it was it was the worst and the best thing because the worst thing because I heard someone's having a difficult time but the best thing that someone's actually acknowledged it before it's got out of control really badly um so it's going to impact them in the short term but not in the long term so if you are finding that you are spending on on gambling more than your means then just just take a moment to stop and pause and think what's it worth it is it is it worth it what impacts it having on your life um because this is supposed to be fun and and for some people, and I've talked about this, I've talked about recently, but a long while ago, some people are just wired and they have an impulsive tendency. And those people will never be successful gamblers because they can't be because their their brain has, has a predisposition to not allow them to kind of regulate and discipline. And that's what you need to do. Um, so, you know, there's a bunch of people on this channel, which I would say, are, you know, are, are, are my people who who are regular small stakes gamblers who throw, following the channel. They like following the tips. They offer their own tips. Um, they're up, they're down. But, you know, if you follow the channel, you're up. But along the way, people are kind of helping each other out. And it's it's kind of like a little it's a little fun hobby. But for not, for not everybody's able to do that. Um, so, yeah, if you are watching this and you're thinking, yeah, I'm, I'm starting to feel like I'm a bit of a hole and maybe, you know, I'm, I'm you know, you, you're tempted to kind of go big on a bet just to hopefully win some back of your losses. It's just not how it works. You have to accept that to build up long term profit, it's just slow increments. You go up, you go down, you go up, you go down, but hopefully overall you go up. Um, and that's what you'll see on this channel. I never chase. I don't chase in real life. I don't chase on the channel. Um, I set myself up a plan for the day and that's what I follow. Um, so yeah hopefully you'll you'll appreciate that's two two kind of indulgences that i felt were worth kind of talking about and and now i'll get back to the the tips which is what a lot of people come for um but i also kind of am aware that by having a channel like this there is a community and comes but that, when that community comes a responsibility too um and you know i'm not one for i haven't got loads of tags on or things on here to say go to gamble aware and that kind of thing but i want to acknowledge that there's a there's a difficult side and and for some people Okay, so back to uh, the this week specifically. What's happened? Uh, Sunday. We finished on Sunday. I can't. I couldn't find my slips anywhere. Um, but I had it as it, it was fifteen on eighteen eighty four back, which was a profit, which is fantastic. Um, I was a bit frustrated to be honest because the main two horses, which I put up the night before, which I said will get punted in. Now I got it half right because they were good horses. They both placed. 
The problem was they both placed at 33 to 1, which was brilliant if you did a bog bookie. But if you took my advice and set, um, you know, got on early and you know, did it with your Skybet account, then, uh, yeah, it's, it's a little frustrating. But I also know that some of you will have had a good go because I put them up the night before. So I know I put... When I'm not running a video, I put up tips, but it's not quite the same as if I put up tips the night before. And I know some people kind of get that. Um, so, uh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it was great to get 233 to 1. So that was on Sunday, Love Day in the 115 at Nace, and then Scrum Half in the 357 at Nace. I think Love Day was third round a great race. The, 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 the conditional on there, she did a great job. Um, and then Scrum Half stayed on from nowhere to finish fifth. So, uh, yeah, a little bit annoying. We didn't put more on the, that, that physical double on the channel selections, but I know those of you who put stuff on the night before did all right. Overall, where's that put us? Down £70 last week. That's down £70 for the month. That's not great. <laughs> channel stats overall with 32.5% for horses. Percent, that's 32.5% up for horses since the channel started um, 10 months ago. And, uh, and we're 28.5% uh, all told for all sports. So in a good place, but November is... I can't remember if and I haven't checked it back whether we've actually started a month that badly uh, 70 pound down um, so yeah it would have been helpful on Sunday if we got a bit more back we didn't so we are cracking on for Wednesday um, and uh, and we will see what we can do with our 25 pounds but um, yeah we're at a point now where the losses can look can start racking up mathematically we're not due in terms of statistically in terms of how long ago it was since we had a nice win we are kind of due but over, overall profit and losses we're not due um in terms of frequency of win we're definitely due hopefully that makes sense for those of you who doesn't make sense i'm sorry i'll just crack on and talk less uh, lingo okay bet one starting here so two jumps here and two kempton so this is the oh this is the all uk lucky 15 Two o'clock Bangor, uh, La Cava Nostra, 12s. 3.25, Air, Ardera, Cross, 14. Bit of a favourite, that man. I've taken that so many times. Um, but yeah, I, I like it a lot of the time. Not not every time, but a lot of the time. Ardera, Cross, uh, 3.25, Air. Then we're going 6.30, Kempton, Maisong, 12 to 1. 8 o'clock, Kempton, Intervention, 18 to 1. It's a 20p each way, lucky 15. It's a standard bet. And we've got a little extra double on the two jumps horses, the 25p each way double on La Cava Nostra and Ardera Cross. Um, thing to flag here, Sky are best because they're an extra place on leg one and leg three. So both those races at the moment, Sky are five pending non-runners. Um, other bookies are four. Most bookies are four on that one. And Ardera Cross, uh, everyone is standard terms on that race. So... Um, yeah, if you were putting this bet on after nine o'clock for Sky, you would get that as um, bog, but not the night before. So Sky best, then 365 or Coral are next best. 650 your bet is bet one. Then I've got bet two. This is solely Dundalk. Um, so you could call it a Dundalk special. Uh, 315, Caesars Comet, 9 to 1. 345, Navarosi, 16 to 1. 445, Chimerick, 11s. And 515, we've taken that a couple of times recently, Alexi Tolstoy. I'm keeping some faith with Alexi. 12 to 1. It's a 16p each way, lucky 15. So it's the smaller stake one for, t for tomorrow. 16p each way, lucky 15. A little additional double again, 25p each way double on Chimerick and Alexi Tolstoy. Sky best, um, the only extra place, so that, so most bookies uh, like Coral and 365 are four across the board. It's only the, the third leg where Sky are an extra place. So if you haven't got Sky, and um, it's one of these ones where it's pretty borderline because the only eventuality where Sky are going to benefit is Chim if Shimmerick comes fifth. Shimmerick could come fifth, but statistically speaking, that's, you know, it's more likely it will come in another position. So... Um, so if that's the case, then you're getting bog on three other horses. So it is a little board line there in terms of where you go. So I'll leave that up to you. Um, but Sky have got one extra place there. Otherwise, I'm saying Coral over 365 on the prices before I did the video. So if you're watching this in the morning, the prices may well have all changed. But before the video uh, tonight, Coral are better than 365. That's 5.30, you bet. Then this is my main kind of decent price, Lucky 15. Um, so we've got 315 Dundalk, lucky number 25 to 1, 345 Dundalk, Lady Liza 16s, 
6.30 Kempton Love Dreams. Um, we've taken that last two times. That's my value for the day to, uh, for, for Wednesday. So 20 to 1, I'd be chasing that down. I think that horse should be 8. Um, so you'll often hear me talk about that. I, I kind of have my own uh, way of, of writing out the, 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 the book for each race. And I would say that's 8 to 1 is a fair price. Anything better more than that is decent. So for me, 20s is great. Uh, and then we've got 8 o'clock there, Kempton. Uh, Papa Stower, 33 to 1. It's 20p each way, lucky 15. Six pound you bet. Uh, Sky best. And then um, same gig as the last bet. It's only the third leg that Sky are an extra place on, as far as I can remember. Um, uh, so you've got a similar thing of you'll get bog on three. So is it, it's only that one that, that you're kind of risking it if you're going to go 365 or Coral. But at the time of doing the video, 365 prices were better than Corals. That's better free. And then finishing off the big E. The combination bet. Um, we, it'd be really lovely to try and land a decent one of these because um, we haven't haven't for a while. I mean, it's not like I do them every time, but um, yeah, today today for for these selections, it felt like it was a good way to go. So we've got three fifteen Dundalk, lucky number in Caesar's Comet. We've then got three forty five Dundalk, Lady Lysa and Navarosi. The six thirty Kempton, Love Dreams and May Song. The eight o'clock Kempton, Papa Stower and Intervention. So what we've got here is our 16 times 10p each way fourfolds that some of you will have seen, uh, I've done it a number of times. So that's covering all eight horses, you put them all in your bet slip and you look at multiples and go fourfolds, 10p each way, and that's £3.20 a bet. And then the way I've done this for Wednesday is I've separated them out into two lots of com combination doubles. So I've put the four Dundorks together, so it's four times 25p each way doubles for the four Dundorks. And then I put the Kemptons together, so it's four times 25p each way doubles on there. Um, it, it basically, I've, I've kind of got some of these already you know, out in Lucky 15s and stuff. I don't want to kind of put a load more stake on with treble. So, you know, I'm working towards £25 today, which is what we've got. Um, but yeah, it, it, it just kind of felt that there was a bit of symmetry around doing the Dundalk 4 together and the Kempton 4. So if, if it's gone down at Dundalk, we have still got a chance uh, to redeem ourselves in the last two races there at Kempton. Sky best, and then again, as I've talked about, it's either 365 or Coral, whichever you get the best prices with, but you will get bog night before on 365 and Coral if Coral let you put the bet on. Sometimes they don't let you put the bet on the night before. 720 is your bet. Okay, that is it. Bit of a longer vid tonight. Um, I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, so that will be Wednesday evening for Thursday selections. Um, and yeah, it's a normal gig this week. So Wednesday night and Thursday night. And then I'll be on for Saturday and Sunday morning for what we've got. All right. You all keep well out there um, and uh, keep yourself warm. Weather's changing. Uh, a bit bit blustery my end uh, uh, today. So yeah, keep yourself, keep yourself safe. Um, and, uh, and yeah, I shall see you tomorrow night. Thank you very much. Bye bye.